Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Sai, the current today's video to compare the touch sampling rate comparison between the Poco M3 Pro versus the Poco X3 versus Realme Nuzo 30 Pro device. So this is a question which was asked by a few of my subscribers asked me to compare the touch sampling rate. So which one has got uh, how much kind of touch sampling rate? Let's see in this video, I'll try to use two applications to demonstrate the touch sampling rate capabilities in all of these three smartphones. So in this way, we'll be able to get to know which phone has got how much kind of touch sampling rate. So let's start with the first phone, which is a Poco M3 Pro. So when you're trying to use the touch sampling rate testings, we need to know what type of refresh rate I'm trying to use. That's the main important point. Right now, the Poco M3 Pro has got the 90 hertz refresh rate, as you can see, friends. I'm trying to use a 90 hertz only. Let me need to open this application, which I, we can actually test it, how much touch sampling rate every phone has got. In this kind of testing, you need to just use uh, your finger to swipe, as you can see. So when you swipe it, you'll get this kind of uh, number, as you can see, friends, clearly. Some number you'll be getting on the top. So try to find the highest number you're getting. So the highest so far I can see is 269. It's kind of close to 270. So that is what the highest touch sampling rate is in this phone. As you can see, it's 270. So the Poco M3 Pro has got 270 of touch sampling rate. But 270 minus 90 hertz refresh rate, you need to do that. Yes. So 270 minus 90 hertz. So already you're getting touch sampling rate about 180 hertz touch sampling rate in the Poco M3 Pro device. That's perfect. No problem. Good to go. And now next phone is the poco x3 let's see the poco x3 how much touch sampling rate uh, we do have so here also same thing friends I'll, i need to show you exactly what is the refresh rate i'm trying to use let me go, go to the refresh rate and 120 years i'm trying to use as you can see so 120 years refresh rate i'm using and let's see the score how much we can get so we're getting score about close to 360 hertz i'm getting 350 i can some some number i can 358 as well as you can see friends clearly you can see the number it's kind of as a round figure try to consider 360 so now what will happen? So 360 minus 120. So now the total is 240. So 240 hertz is a touch sampling rate for the Poco X3 device. So slightly the winner when compared with the Poco M3 Pro. Now let's see the Realme Nuzo 30 Pro. What is the touch sampling rate for this one? So first let me just show you exactly what is the refresh rate I'm trying to use. That's the one thing. So refresh rate I'm trying to use is a 120 hertz. As you can see, friends, 120 hertz refresh rate I'm trying to use during this process of demonstration. So now let's let me just open the same application. Let's see. How much the number is there? I think the number, number is coming close to 270. As you can see friends, it's coming close to 270. 269 I did see the highest so far. It's coming close to 270 only, nothing more than that. During this process of demonstration as you can see. Only 270 friends. Now let me need to do one thing. So 270 minus 120 hertz. So 150 hertz is the touch sampling rate for the Realme Nuzo. 30 pro device so whereas the poco m3 pro has got 180 hertz and poco x3 has got 240 hertz so in this way you should know which phone has got what type of touch sampling rate this is a really good thing to check before actually uh, buying the phone you should all always know what type of touch sampling rate is a mobile phone now let's move to the next application which will also uh, test the touch sampling rate capabilities which phone will have what type of touch sampling rate let me to open this application so this application basically takes the touch inputs from the user yeah so when you try to uh, draw a line as you can see if if you get really smooth line if you get really smooth line if you see more kind of touches recognizing that means the phone has got really good touch sampling rate as you can see friends right now even when i'm trying to move my finger really fast in the poco x3 as you can see i'm getting a straight line i'm getting all the touches are recognizing really in small small circles as you can see if the touch sampling rate is not good this is how it looks the display so this is how the touch sampling rate if it is not good as you can see, it's recognizing only few, few circles, not more. As you can see, friends, when I try to speed it up, you can see the results. It's recognizing only few touches, not much. So next, let's move to the 180 hertz. So this is a 180 hertz touch sampling rate. So in the 180 hertz touch sampling rate, slightly better you can actually expect, little bit kind of better than the 150 hertz. As you can see, friends, the difference how it is between the three phones. So even I do feel slightly the touch sampling rate is slightly better in the Poco M3 Pro device. So let me to clear the screen. Let me to clean everything. Yep. And let me to do the cleaning as well. I'll try to do the same kind of test in the three different modes. So in the, with the slow speed, with the medium speed and with the fast speed. So in this way, we'll be able to get to know which phone has got what type of touch sampling rate. So first, let me to uh, do the test. So let me to arrange the phones in according to the orders. So now you'll be able to understand clearly. So 240 Hertz, 180 Hertz and 150 hertz so now now you can observe clearly friends which phone has got what type of settings let me need to do in slow motion so slow motion means i'm trying to move my finger a little bit slowly not fast same kind of speed i'm trying to maintain in the even in the poco 
M3 Pro as well. Next is the Realme Narzo 30 Pro. As you can see in the slow motion, no issues. All the three phones are recognizing same. Now let me try to slightly speed up. As you can see friends, I did slide to slightly speed up the process. Let me try to do the speed the process a little bit more. As you can see, you can see the small small circles, but it's still in the straight line in the Poco X3. As you can see friends, slightly more circles you can see on the Poco, sorry, in the Realme Narzo 30 Pro. Let me try to do, do really fast. Now you can compare friends how the touch inputs are. So in the Poco X3, the number of touch inputs recognized are more as you can clearly see here. So in the Poco M3 Pro, the touch inputs slightly less than the Poco X3 a little bit. But the Realme Narzo 30 Pro has got really less uh, touch inputs. As you can see, it's not recognizing something, but both Poco M3 Pro and this Realme Narzo 30 Pro slightly close to each other in terms of the touch sampling rate. This is what the conclusion I can definitely give you. So try to download these two applications and try to check what type of touch sampling rate your mo mobile phone you do have. That is what you should know how much is the touch sampling rate. So always try to do the minus. So you should always do the minus with the refresh rate. So whatever the refresh rate you are trying to use, try to do the minus and the result is the final score for the touch sampling rate in your device so most of the mid-range segment mobile phones uh, nowadays we are getting with the 240 hertz touch sampling rate and 180 hertz touch sampling rate so these are the two common things which are we are trying to see in the mid-range segment mobile phones but right now there's only one phone which has 240 hertz touch sampling rate in this kind of price range is the poco x3 so poco x3 is the only one phone which has got really good touch sampling rate within this uh, kind of 15,000 price range that's a really good fantastic thing friends that is the reason most of the users like the gamers so gamers for the mid-range segment mobile phones they're trying to prefer the poco x3 because of the touch sampling rate and because of the refresh rate because of the battery because of the performance and everything all those aspects so they are trying to prefer the poco x3 even till now as well if you don't want the 5g then definitely you can prefer the poco x3 mobile phone so thank you friends for watching this video this is a quick uh, touch sampling rate comparison between all of these three devices i hope you like this video and make sure to check the link in the description for more videos and don't forget to hit the subscribe and click that bell icon as well to get notified and see in the next video friends i'll stay tuned for more updates bye